everyone, welcome to Girls STEM Feed. Our guest today is Nadine Durham, the IT Director at Amerisource Bergen. Hi, Ms. Durham, thank you for being here today. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Before we get into our actual questions, I wanted to ask you an icebreaker, which is if you can meet any female in STEM from history, who would it be and why? You know, I, lately um, I'm obsessed with hidden figures. Um, and I think it has just taken, I've learned so much, just even my culture, history, STEM, um, it couldn't have been, couldn't be a better combination for an African-American woman in STEM for me. Um, but if I had to pick one of the three of them, I would say Katherine Johnson, but all three of them, their stories are just incredible. And my goodness, what the, the you know, they have just paved such an incredible path for so many people. Um, it's so inspiring. I would, I, if I met them, I would love to just know, you know, kind of the, what inspired them, you know, and, and, and honestly thank them. <laughs> you know, just for their, for their incredible example. So my first actual question is, could you briefly tell us what you do and could you take us through your typical day? So what's the best part, the worst part, et cetera? So my, my job currently, um, I, most of what I do is we um, integrate or implement um, software to support um, business processes that are within the revenue management space. And what that means is there's everything from billing, accounts receivable, contracts, chargebacks, rebates. Um, and then we have corporate functions that we also support from an IT perspective, like treasury, tax, um, internal audit. So we're essentially working as like a liaison, our team, my, the team that I lead, um, between those business groups and IT. And so what's really special about that job is that it could be different every day. <laughs> um, often I think that, you know, I have my list of the things that I want to do that day, and then it changes because of a phone call. So because we're doing a lot of ongoing projects, there's a lot of movement. There's a lot of really fun and exciting things because you get to problem solve and you get to help people take what people are requesting and turn that into actual results that really benefit them and benefit the company. Um, the other part of our job is that once we've implemented something, then we have to support it. So we sort of have like a run organization, which means if something's broken in our production system, then we're responsible for fixing it. So um, the, the challenges or the things that I don't like are the surprises because, you know, it, it impacts stuff. So Amerisource Bergen is a pharmaceutical distribution company. Um, and so a lot of times, there are times that we are we are essentially responsible for de for delivering critical, you know, medicines for people that are in need, right? So it's it's more than just the over the counter drugs that people can buy, but people are are you know are in desperate need of the products that we are shipping. So when we have something that happens in the system, um, the bad part is when we have a failure like that and it doesn't, um, you know, and and somebody is impacted in a negative way. Mm -hmm. But one of my favorite parts is that when we collectively come together as a team on a call all night, trying to get product to a customer right in time to get to their patient and it's life-saving. Like, I mean, you know, to be, to be part of something like that is, is really special, but I also think it's, it's, it, it helps to share things like that in interviews like this, because people can think IT, well, you're just, no, what you do actually matters, <laughs> you know, in whatever company you're in, it matters. And it's nice to know that the things that you're doing actually impact in such a positive and incredible way. Like during COVID, I mean, we were responsible for getting people drugs timely. I mean, and the way that our company just pulled together um, and just quick responses to be able to meet those needs was, was, it was incredible. So yeah, that's, that's amazing. I mean, I can't even imagine how much COVID had an effect on your business and what you do, because obviously people needed a lot of medication during COVID. And besides actually the disease of COVID-19, the quarantine meant that people couldn't get drugs or medicine that they needed for other ongoing diseases besides COVID. So I think that's yeah. really cool. And I mean, what you said about that, you know, working so closely with people can have really good things that happen and bad things that happen. I think that's definitely a key hallmark, you know, of a business that works so closely with people because you never really know if you're going to have something that happens that's really good or if it's going to be bad. You really, it, it, it depends, you know, yeah. and you never know with people. But 
knowing that you get to help people and that you get to have a positive effect on someone and, and like you said, save their, their life, I think is really incredible. Okay.